Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to have a quick play in my blue book. Um, this book is coming along. If you haven't seen any of the pages, there are videos for all the pages in this book. It's just a, a quick flip till we get to the page that we want to be at. And it's this one. Remember him? <laughs> He was a bit of fun. So let's think, we've got Christmas and Christmas is over. So the next thing we have to think about here is Nerdy, which is New Year. Hug Monet on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is the big celebration here. And of course we have a piper, a handsome piper. And the only thing about this, which is from a magazine, um, about some uh, about tartan and whatnot it was an article in a magazine. Um, I'm going to have to cut his feet off, which is a wee bit unfortunate. But hey ho, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. We'll just um, we'll just make a wee pencil mark, I think, just where we want that off. Okay, we'll just will you oh oops, sorry. Bang, clatter bang. Let's just tear it off. Oh, bang feet. <laughs> That's better. So this is going to be my background. Um, I think it works quite well with the Santa on the other side. I'm just going to use my glue stick and um, this page for some reason has already been, um, what do you call it, G gessoed. I must have had plans for this at some other point and then didn't do anything with it. So we'll just pop him on and hope that he, he fits okay. This is just, for those of you who haven't seen this before, it's just a second-hand book about cleaning your house. It was called How Clean Is Your House? It was a TV programme here. Um, so this is just an old second-hand book from the charity shop. And it doesn't have a huge amount of pages left, which is good. Yeah. So that's him stuck down. I have a few other little bits and bobs to add. I've got some tartan clouds which were also in the same magazine um, and I've got this chap, a monarch of the glen, um, a deer and I think we'll put him because he was in the corner of the magazine so that's why he's been cut off. He was in the corner. So I think we'll still keep them in the corner here, peeking out. Yeah, happy with that. Will we overlap them? Oh, I think we'll spread them out. Okay. Just get our magazine out. Yeah, so we had a lovely Christmas day, nice and quiet with my two sister-in-laws and brother-in-law, hubby and I and the Doug. Um, so yeah, it was nice. We had our turkey dinner. And now we're looking forward to next Sunday, Saturday, Saturday's New Year's Eve. And um, the only thing is there'll be fireworks and Millie will be terrified of the fireworks, but it's only the one night this time, whereas in November for Guy Fox, the, the lead up to the 5th of November, there's fireworks and then after it, but usually on New Year's Eve, it's just for five for 10 minutes at midnight. And then um, it will hopefully stop. Right, okay, now. I have 
Wait till I show you what I've got here. This is a napkin. I've taken the backing off already. And it's a napkin that I bought a packet um, for Christmas and whatnot. And we ended up not using them. We used the, the Christmassy ones instead of these ones. But I thought these were quite good, these napkins. So I've stolen one out of the packet. And it's um, Scottish, it's old Scots words. Um, old is old and Scots is Scottish words. Now, some of them, I would say, are more kind of slang words. Well, to me, to us in Glasgow, they seem kind of slang, but I know that they are Scottish words. Um, so, stoter. Some of them, you would think that would be pronounced stoter, but it's not. It's stoter. And that means an excellent example, as in, like, um, like this, this, well, I could say, this page has turned out to be a stota, which is an excellent example. <laughs> or bra, as in, um, the bride looked bra, or that frock is bra, meaning that dress is, that dress is lovely or beautiful. Numpty's a good one. <laughs> and idiot intellectually challenged so sometimes um, if we're driving and we don't want to and you've somebody's cut in in front of you you would say oh he's a right numpty <laughs> instead of swearing <laughs> skyver is a lazy person or a shirker so in the office if somebody goes for their tea break too often you could say oh he's a right skyver kludgy is a toilet we don't really use that one kludgy um wabbit under the weather, exhausted. Oh, I'm feeling a bit wabbit. I need to go and lie down. Would be <laughs> Egypt. Well, again, similar to numpty. Idiot, not the fool shilling. So not the fool shilling means like he's uh, playing with a penny short or he's just not all there in the head or something. So again, if you were driving, you'd be like, oh, that's, he's an Egypt. Wheesh, it's quiet. Mm-hmm. Clarty, that's not one that we really use either. I don't know, maybe that's used more in the East Coast or up north, I don't know. Mucky, boggin, just means um, like dirty, that's clarty. Scunner, that's one we would use. He's a wee scunner, meaning a um, feeling of disgust or loathing. Uh, so if somebody didn't take the bins out because it was their turn, you would say, oh, he's a wee scunner. <laughs> so... Canny is thrifty or wise, um, meaning they don't like to spend their money. Drook it is what you would be today if you're out because it's absolutely porn and you would come in drook it. <laughs> Laldy, get stuck in. That you could say, um, gain it laldy means giving it, giving it uh, laldy, like, um, Doing something fast or doing something quickly. Um, Crabbit is bad tempered. Thism. <sighs> blairer. Gossip, incessant chatter. Oh, she was a wee blairer. You would maybe say that about a, a wee girl or a wee boy when they're, when they're chatting to their grandpa. Oh, they're a blairer. Clipe means they're going to tell tales on you. Um, she ain't my Jaffa cake. She's a wee, ch a wee clipe. <laughs> Druth is post dram first, meaning um, if you go to somebody's house and you say, oh, I've got a right Druth, you would be expecting them to give you a glass of something for your thirst. Preferably a wee drink of something better than water. <laughs> Glee kit. Foolish, not very bright. My mum used to say Gleek it a lot when she sat at the window and and somebody would pass and they would have be they, they would look at the way he's walking, he's right Gleek it. <laughs> a footer. This is what I'm doing just now. I'm not getting on with it. I'm being a footer as in I'm footing about telling you this and I'm not quite deciding what words to use, so I'm being a footer. Mock it is dirty, filthy. Haver, talk rubbish. And maybe that's what I'm doing just now as well. I'm havering. Dreich is dull, bleak, miserable. And that's what it is today. Dull and miserable. It's raining. So it's a right Dreich day. And you'll get drook it. 
is what you would say for today. And then Gallus is bold, cocky, cheeky. Like if the girls are going out to the disco or to the dancing and they're all dressed up, you would say, oh, look, they're a bit gallus looking. That's what you would say. So for him, I'm thinking that he looks bra and a stota. And let's see. And he could, he could give his pipes laldy. else. He could be a bit gallus. No, no, I think we'll go with, you'd maybe tell him he wished, that's for sure, with the, the sound the pipes are making. Let's try Stota and Bro first of all. So we've got some water here so that we can pull this word out from the napkin and this will just give us a nice border so he's a stota and he's bra because he's a good example of being a piper and he's bra so next week we have we celebrate on New Year's Day we don't meet with family on Hogmanay on New Year's Eve it's just quiet just the two of us but the next day, New Year's Day, uh, wished, well, let's tell him he wished. Um, we go to, because we had Christmas dinner here, we'll go to my sister-in-law's and we have steak pie for our New Year's dinner, which is traditional to have steak pie. So that'll be nice. And I don't know, we'll probably be their first foot, which means the first person over the door at New Year is called a first foot. Your first foot in the door and you're supposed to take like something to eat. So like a bit of shortbread or something. What about that? That works quite well, actually. Now, what's the other traditions? A lump of coal so that you'll, you'll always be warm. Something like that. Ah, you know, my mum, I wish my mum was here because she knew all the, and she used to, oh my goodness, the place would be cleaned from top to bottom for New Year. And you used to have to clean up your stairs, clean your outside steps for the first foot. <laughs> My goodness. Mm. Lots of old traditions, I think, that younger people don't really pay attention to now. I think, I think they're just still out having a big party now. We'll see. There'll be things, Scottish things on the television. There's usually things Scottish comedians on and there might be like a Kayleigh on somewhere that you can watch. If you're not out, if you're not out first footing. I think I want to take a wee bit more of that off. Let's put some water on it. Yeah. Okay. 
I have to say, I prefer Christmas to New Year. I find New Year sometimes quite, quite sad. I think I think more about the people that aren't here at New Year rather than at Christmas. You just think, oh, that's another year. Come and gone without some people. Let me move this down so that I can see what I'm doing. I think I'll take a wee bit off this as well. A little bit of glue there. What do you think? I think that works all right, doesn't it? Really easy. Now, do I want a number on it? Do I want to put twenty twenty three, or am I just because I didn't I didn't put a title on that Christmas? I think I don't think so. I think we can see what it is. There's some titles in some of them. And not in others, but yeah, I think I'm pleased with that. Another wee page done, nice and easy. So I'm gonna leave it there. So all the best at New Year. Um have a nice time, count down the bells and wish, sing old Lang Syne and think of Robbie Burns. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.